How is it going, fellow gamers? I'm back with another episode of my Shinobi Story playthrough, where last episode we began our journey to becoming a Shinobi. As of currently, we are on our way to the first training grounds outside of the Hidden Leaf Village, where we are to continue our training in the way of a Shinobi. So, let's go and do that. If you boys Quick pause, lads. I just wanted to say thank you guys for smashing the like goal last episode. I appreciate every single one of you. If this video can hit 125 likes in the first two days, that is 48 hours, I'll make sure to drop episode number three as soon as possible. Also, make sure to join my Discord for extra information regarding the release of content on the channel, the opportunity to participate in community events, and much more. Now, let's get back into the action. If you guys remember in the last episode, we picked up Chakra Dash and Chakra Jump. We are going to be abusing those abilities to get to the outside of the city. They help us with our movement speed quite drastically, as you can tell. This is pretty sick. I'm sprinting through the city like a ninja. I've never felt more ninja-like in my life. Anyways, though, boys, we're headed over to the first training ground to continue our training, as I said in the beginning of the video. I can't wait to learn some actual damaging abilities so that I can go kill those rats I was supposed to in the first episode, but never got to. That was a flying bunny. Did you guys see that? What the hell? They got flying bunnies over here on Shinobi Story. That's one more reason to come and play the game. That flying bunny is actually not a bug. It's a feature. Finally, after about 20 minutes, we made it to our we made it to our man. What is what's your name? Desaki Hoyuga. I am mispronouncing like 90% of these words, but that's alright. That's half of the fun. You must be blonde belly. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure it is. Right, let's get down to business. I'll do my best to teach you how to fight in close quarters. You won't always have the luxury of using a jutsu in all situations, so a shinobi must know how to fight with a kunai. You did bring your kunai, right? If you forgot your kunai, the academy front desk should have a spare. Tisk tisk tisk. I'll make a man out of you. You think so, sir? Now that you have a kunai, equip it. This is the base weapon of a shinobi and should not be underestimated. Depending on what combination of weapons you have equipped, you'll get a different bonus. Currently, the bonuses are for one-handed weapons, two-handed weapons, and dual-wielded weapons. They each do something different, but a shinobi will be defined by the weapons he or she has at his or her disposal. Fighting with your kunai. Depending on what combination of weapons you have equipped, during your battles, you will frequently run out of chakra. This puts you in a vulnerable situation which could cost you your life. When you find a moment or if you manage to evade your enemy briefly, spend time regenerating your chakra to never be caught off guard. Anyways, what do we got next? You are becoming a fine young shinobi. All you're doing is talking to me, but thanks, I guess. Well, I have nothing more to teach you. Head back to Hiroto Sensei. I will give you a scroll that teaches you to run faster. It's only usable out of combat and requires chakra. This is shinobi travel speed. Shinobi travel speed. Okay, okay. Let me see. We got a whole bunch of abilities, actually. Simple Strike. That's a good one to have. We also got Ninja Tool Shuriken. Got a Chakra Recharge. That'll be insanely important whenever we start to utilize our Chakra. And then we got the Ninja Travel Speed, which will help us get back home, hopefully. There we go. We're gonna turn on our Ninja Travel Speed. Oh my god, how long is this on for? 20 seconds? Oh, for 10 minutes I'm traveling at- Okay, I see. Epic. I am extremely thankful that they gave us this movement speed ability, though, because running back would have been a pain in the ass. You're on your way. Get back to class. We gotta go see Hiroto Sensei. We're back where we started, boys. We're back where we started. Hiroto Sensei, you're on your way. You're becoming a fine young shinobi. Oh, look who it is. You passed after all. Ha! Don't screw it up from here. I've recommended you to Lord Hokage for your promotion to Genin. Now you represent the Hidden Leaf as its military asset. I will wash your career as a shinobi with great enthusiasm. Thank you. Appreciate you. Now where am I going? Speak with Lord Hokage at the Hokage building, red building, third floor. All right, we're looking for a big red building. That's gotta be the big red building, I'm assuming, all right? I might be wrong, I might be wrong. I don't think I'm wrong, though. And here we are, we made it to the third floor, epic. Lady Yusagi Huyuga. Ah, uh, you must be blonde belly. I've read your report. I think you will serve the village well. More experience, that was a lot of experience. Thank you for that level up, baby. You are now a member of the Leaf's mighty military force. You must obey other Jonin in higher ranks as you are at the bottom of the totem pole. Sweet, does that mean McDoubles is my boss? This headband symbolizes your commitment to the leaf. It is not to be taken lightly. I've also given you your first payment as a professional shinobi, a ninja pouch, and a mastery redemption token. Seek out the mastery of your choosing from their masters who will be able to teach you more in that mastery. Choose wisely, because you can never go back, and only have three uses total which you can get from Jenin, Chunin, and Jonin. I've also given you an experience boost in Jutsu Power. Creatures, quests, and enemy ninja have a chance at dropping experience boosts which you can use in your skill board to advance your character. When the tree leaves dance, one shall find flames. 
the final shadow will illuminate the village and once again tree leaves shall bud anew so for completing the first part of the main storyline we get 10 silver the genin title for our character the hidden leaf headband a mastery redemption token a scroll representing our rank as genin as well as a jutsu power boost rank 4 that's actually pretty epic i appreciate that mrs hokage so let's go to our masteries now that we learned all of that holy shit look at all these options what the fu i i what I, I'll, I'll be I'll be back when I when I figure out what I want to choose there are just so many options I have no idea where to start so after looking around at our general techniques for a while I decided to go with advanced chakra shielding which reads absorbing 6330 to 6584 damage draining chakra instead drains 1.5 chakra per damage absorbed last 45 seconds and the second thing we picked up was prismatic chakra barrier which reads forms your chakra into a protective barrier around you allowing you to shield yourself from incoming attacks absorb 6000 6730 to 6984 damage draining chakra instead drains 1.5 chakra per damage absorbed last 45 seconds and as for the jutsu we decided to go with the fire jutsu just because you know why not fire jutsu sounds pretty fucking epic when you pick up fire ninjutsu the first ability that you're going to get is flaming dart jutsu which reads after quickly molding fire style chakra quickly expel a flaming dart at a targeted location dealing 276 to 421 fire damage and igniting the area it hits with flames for a period of time burning all enemies that are within its radius and the second ability that we're going to get with fire ninjutsu is fireball jutsu which reads unleashing a devastating and quick traveling orb of flames in a pathway directed in front of you devastating everything in its path causing 1056 to 1430 fire damage so it's a pretty common ability for fire ninjas i guess i don't know this is what the flavor text reads to be honest with you i'm pretty excited to see what these new abilities look like so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go kill the rats i was supposed to last episode but never did but before we leave the building I should probably pick up this quest uh, because it's in the Hokage building, so there's a chance that it might be a part of the main story. Let's see what this lady has to say. Genin lessons, masteries, and abilities. Oh, you again? Give me a break, man. Another student on my plates? If I catch you not listening, I will leave you to ask someone else for lessons. Understood? So take notes. Now, as you become a more experienced ninja, you will be able to learn new jutsu abilities. Currently, you have received from Lord Hokage a mastery redemption token. You can use it to select one mastery in the mastery panel. These masteries include claim and bloodline mastery, elemental style mastery, and ninja technique mastery, swordmanship, taihoujutsu, etc. You can gain a total of three mastery redemption tokens, the other two from becoming a chunin ninja and the other jonin. This equals to a total of three masteries to choose from. When you reach level 25, you can talk to Hokage's assistants and they will talk to you about promotion and chunin. Level 40 is for jonin. Alternatively, you can also participate in rare exams like chunin exams, but these are not easy at all. You must train hard and be ready. No slacking, you hear? Once you've selected your mastery, you can use the mastery points you've acquired by gaining experience from the designated mastery tree. This will go to level 60, a total of 30 points. Wow, sick. Sounds pretty awesome, dude. I can't wait to get into this. It looks like they put a lot of work into this mod, and it's just not reflected by the player count, which is really sad. There are also some general techniques that all ninjas can spend mastery points to learn. These do not require a mastery. You can't learn any new jutsu by just standing around all cutely. Go help with the rat infestation behind the academy and bring me 20 rat tails as proof. Oh shit, you're sending me to the place I was going anyway. That's awesome. There we go, boys. Get moving. Oh yeah, lady, I'll bring you some rat tails. You bet, you bet. We're back in the rat ca- Oh, you fucking god. There's somebody in here. There's a level 60 in here killing all my rats. No, there's no rats to kill. 2,000 years later. Look at this damage, bro. What the fuck? What is this? No! <laughs> Too many rats. Alright, it's time for the moment of truth. How many rats can we pull? No! They took away my fire jutsu. It's fine. We're still doing fat damage. Um, oh, wait. We got all 10 in one go. Jesus Christ. That was more than 10 rats. Absolutely epic, dude. We're just too good. The biggest issue I have so far is that my chakra shield drains all my chakra before I could use any of my other fire style ninjutsu abilities, which is kind of lame, but I mean, I'm the one who picked the ability, aren't I? 
We can go ahead and turn this quest in already, though, since we killed 10 in one go. Ha! You show those rats how a Leaf Shinobi handles business. As promised, take your pick. For prizes, we get 11,846 experience, 50 silver. We get to pick from a Kunai, a Katana, a War Spear, and a Nodachi. Do I get to see what they look like? I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna have to go with a Katana just to keep the, uh, the weeaboo feel alive, you know what I mean? How are we gonna be playing a Naruto version of World of Warcraft and not pick a Katana? Like, for real, like... Anyways, I gotta kill more rats, so I'm gonna go do that now. I'm gonna wait to use my Chakra Shield and see if I can use a lot of my Fire Ninjutsu abilities. We got 10 rats already, so we just need to get 10 more rat tails. Alright, <sighs> fat damage time. Fireball, Jutsu. Why can't I hit him with this Fireball Jutsu? There we go. Fireball Jutsu! <laughs> Wow, that was a one shot. Oh my god. All right, I know what my new favorite ability is Fireball Jutsu. Let me do it again. Fireball Jutsu. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god, that is so cool. Dude, these. Look at this. Look at this mess I've left. Just a bunch of dead rats and a lot of blood. I'm glad we picked Fire Ninja. This is massive. We're gonna have to try out all the other ninjutsu styles at some point in time here because they all look like they're pretty epic, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, fucking water-style ninjutsu, earth-style ninjutsu, lightning, wind, swordsmanship techniques, like what? This looks absolutely insane. If you guys wanna see any ninjutsu in specific, please let me know in the comment section below. I would love to try it out for you guys. I plan on trying out every style of ninjutsu in this game, but if you guys wanna see anything in specific right away, let me know, we can make that happen for you. Masteries and abilities. Well, did you bring the rat tails? I absolutely did. It sucked dick, but I did it. You reek. Take a shower. There is more I have to teach you, but I have urgent matters that I must attend to. There was supposed to be a special guest substituting, but he is very, very late. Perhaps you can go find him yourself. His name is Jari. Jari? Jari? A fellow colleague informed me that they were at the Hot Springs together, near the Hokage building. I would start searching around that area. Now go. Our lectures will continue at another time. Thank you, ma'am. Mission objectives. All right, we're looking for Jari. Sensei. I'm just going to start calling him Jir. But, boys... I am going to leave the adventure that Jur takes us on for the next episode. If you would like to see in episode 3, a like, comment, and subscribe goes a very, very long way. Next episode, we're going to be leaving Kanoha as a part of our training to become a proper shinobi. I will see you boys then. Peace out.